I am a cell and molecular biology scientist at a small pharmaceutical company called Ciros in Cambridge, United States. At Ciros, I work within a team where people have different expertise. I am a cell and molecular biologist scientist, so my role there is to design and execute experiments related to our research project. I collaborate with other people within the group and we analyze data together and present at team meetings. I think there are several paths to pursue a scientist career in biology or biotechnology. Either you can enter a BSc honors program straight out of high school based on your 12th standard marks or if you are in a different field such as engineering, you might need to apply for joint entrance examinations to gain admission into biotech engineering programs and such. In my opinion, I think it is very important to have a basic knowledge of major science subjects such as biology, chemistry, biochemistry, and even physics. These subjects prepare an individual for a career in biology where it's not just pure biology, but different subjects converge with different research topics. For you to get more information about a particular research area or a research program, I would advise to go to primary literature such as publications in scientific journals such as Cell Nature Science. These journals publish the most high impact cutting edge research in the field of not just biology but across all scientific disciplines. And access to these journals is usually available through colleges or you might have to pay a small fee to access an article for a few hours. After I finished high school at Springdale School, I did a BSc Honours program in Botany at Hindu College, University of Delhi. After I got my bachelor's degree, I transferred to Rochester Institute of Technology in Rochester, New York, where I completed another bachelor's program in biotechnology. For graduate school, I went to University of Rochester, also in Rochester, New York, where I studied microbiology with a focus on cholera. After I graduated with my PhD, I moved to Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health for my postdoctoral fellowship in malaria. While there isn't a strict requirement for admission in universities in the United States, but most in universities require you to take a test of English as a foreign language or TOEFL. Or if you're applying for a college degree program there, you will also be asked to take an SAT exam. In my opinion, it is better to take not just the general SAT, but also subject SATs. If you want to stay in India for your graduation and go to United States or any other country in the world, you might be required to take a GRE exam, not just a general GRE exam, but also specific subject-based GREs, which are dependent on university requirements. I think if you want to pursue a career in a field that is still up and coming in India, I would suggest that you start looking at courses outside India where the infrastructure has already been set up and the programs have been established. However, because of other certain reasons, such as personal or financial constraints, you might want to study in India and get the experience at the bachelor's level and then apply for a graduate program within the US or Europe or even Australia. If you like this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.